A team of Belize's brightest from Belize High School received a triumphant return home today. That's because they snagged gold medals at first global challenge held in Geneva, Switzerland. And it's because of this guy right here, Yash, named after the Mayan god of animals. Belize and the teams from Lithuania, Botswana and host country Switzerland ruled the standings, each racking 994 points. Benny He says it's an experience he'll never forget. I would coin the term as an experience as unbelievable. So over there, there's so much culture, there's so much pits of all the different countries. You look to your left, there's Belarus. You look to your right, there's Benin. You look straight ahead, there's Argentina, Australia. So we're all there to share about our Belizean culture, but also them sharing about um, their cultures to us. So at that point, it's when you realize we're not there for our differences, but we're there to focus on the traits that make us unique. And somehow they made it work, shining brightly from among 180 competing countries, many of whom brought large delegations. Tristy and Bradley reflected on the road to get to the top. First, there's 12 matches you play. Then you make it to the playoffs. There were some ups and downs during those matches. We won some, we lost some, but we never gave up and we tried our best. There was a point where we didn't think we were going to make it to the playoffs, but we continued, we persevered, and we made it. The goal of the competition was to collect balls across the field representing carbon in the atmosphere and sort in a central sink. We designed our robot to collect as many carbon balls as possible to then store it in a compressor on the side where a human player would then manually store the carbon in the center sink. Melissa Choi, who contributed hours of research, explained that this experience often meant giving up fun times during summer and the national holidays to ensure everything was fine-tuned. We spend a lot of days, even weekends, sometimes Carnival, Independence Day. We basically spend our entire summer up to the day when we leave Geneva, when we leave Belize to get our robot done. Our robot isn't something comparable to large robots like Team USA and other big country, but we still made it onto the playoffs and we've made first, so I'm pretty proud of what we've done with our robot. When we looked at the other robots that were in the practice field, we were like, oh no, can our robot even make it up to stage? But regardless, we still tried very hard. We put our best into what we can do. We made sure that we executed our plans, our thoughts onto the stage and make sure we place our best performance on there. So through our hard work and determination, we won. Choi was the only female included in the main group of competitors from Belize. She's hoping that with this win, more girls become interested in science, technology, engineering, and math. Sometimes when girls hear STEM, they feel like they might not belong here because they think that STEM is kind of like a male field. But I think it's just trying it out. There's nothing that is suitable for one person and not suitable for one. You can be you can think it's not suitable for you because others says it. Without trying, you don't know what will happen. So I tried on the STEM field and on the field of STEM and I made it here. Jaden Chen also commented that the event is comparable to the excitement of being on a theme park ride. My experience was truly one of a kind. We got to meet with a bunch of different countries, over 180 countries. We also got to compete and work together with them. And then how I felt during the match we played was like a whole roller coaster of emotions. Like we're excited, nervous, anxious. But once the match started, everything disappeared. The lights, the crowd, the commentary, everything disappeared. It was just me, my, my teammates, my robot, and our alliance. Justin Zhao says that the win does not end here. They are mentoring upcoming robotics champs to prepare for other international competitions. And for him, it's a career. There's another competition called FTC, which are more advanced. And we're obviously going to pass down the FGC to the lower uh, classmen, which is FLO. And we'll obviously mentor them. And we're going to try to get into bigger competitions such as FTC and FRC. And then what are your, some of your goals for college? Honestly, continuing in this path is probably more likely for me because engineering, robotics, uh, technology, that's what I want to do. 
Belize High School principal Jamie Usher is also optimistic that this opens the doors and raises interest in science and technology among Belize's youth. I think honored, humbled, and grateful for the opportunity to showcase young Belizeans on a global stage and seeing their strengths as team players, as innovators, and as engineers rise to the top in this Global Alliance Challenge. So I think um, this should hopefully inspire both young women and young men in Belize to get involved in our robotics programs. We have the first LEGO League coming up, so I really hope to see uh, this energy continue because Belize has always had a lot of raw talent across the board. No matter what sector you're working with, with Belize, we have raw talent. And I'm excited that the team at BHS has a way of facilitating that talent in robotics and engineering to, to come to this level. And now we have to remain competitive. So we're gonna keep working because they're gonna look after us now. We're no longer the underdog. It is safe to say that at least where robotics is concerned, that moniker is dead and buried. But for the students, the future is bright and with great expectations that there will be more accolades to come, but a greater hope for the world to change one robot at a time. Please. Please. Yeah. Dale McDougall, Love News.